there are concerns for clearly Cressida Dick in the not not just concerning Wayne Cousins directly, but the behaviour of other police officers as well around this case. We had developments overnight with the revelation that five police officers, three from the Metropolitan Police area, uh, are being investigated for sharing really quite sick, misogynistic, racist and homophobic uh, mm. WhatsApp messages. Uh, and, and this is in conjunction with a, an, an, an independent Office for Police Complaints uh, commission investigation that is underway already into the behaviour of officers at the scene uh, of uh, Sarah Everard's murder who were again sharing inappropriate messages over WhatsApp. And so you mentioned this possible uh, other officers. I mean, th this kind of highlights the debate between is it just bad apples or is there a fundamental culture within policing or sections of the policing. Where do you see um, that going, that particular divide? I think the, the police service, to be brutally honest, has grappled over the years mm -hmm. with issues around misogyny. I think it definitely has. And, and issues around racism as well and homophobia, all of the above. It has been for many years a macho culture. Mm -hmm. But I think it has changed uh, almost unrecognisably from the police service or police force as it was then mm -hmm. that you would have seen in the 80s that uh, spurned these television series like Life on Mars. You know, it really was, uh, you know, quite a toxic environment to, to work in uh, and perhaps to be on the receiving end of uh, the, uh, you know, a police intervention in those days. But it has changed. Mm -hmm. There are still without doubt, people within the police service who hold abhorrent views. But I think the vast majority of people in yeah. the police service are in there for the right reasons. They are decent yeah. people that want to uphold the law and uphold the oath they swore, which is to serve and protect the public.